How's it going, Rogues Gallery, or should I say Selectors, and welcome to the return of one of the very first trading card games we ever covered here on Red Zone Rogue, We Cross. And there are a couple reasons for that. In today's video, we're going to go over all of those reasons, as well as kind of pick up where we left off over on my We Cross channel, We Cross Zone. We're going to talk about what's going to happen with that channel, but... Um, more importantly, for the you know content of this particular video, we're gonna open up this booster box. This is set seven, yeah. This is set seven, and this is basically where I kind of went on hiatus in that, uh, or rather, on my secondary channel on We Cross Zone. And so we're gonna pick off, uh, pick up from there, opening up this box. I actually opened up an entire case of this, and this is the very last box. So we'll, we'll open this box, and maybe we'll share a little bit about what we're gonna be doing so stay tuned for the box opening of this set it's actually really really cool it has some of the um the uh last storage characters there's like rill and donna and stuff so this is gonna be a lot of fun but yeah let's talk about um before we do that let's talk about why we cross is returning and in what capacity and um just kind of my, my thoughts on the matter. So if you didn't know, basically I used to cover We Cross. It's one of the card games that I covered on Red Zone Rogue way before even Flesh and Blood came out. I covered the Japanese release of the game. It's a really, really, really good game. Gameplay wise, it's so much fun. Um, it's not appealing to everyone because literally every single card is like an anime waifu. Uh, and that's part of the charm. It's, it's actually kind of silly. Like literally everything is an anthropomorphized uh, anime waifu or just you know there's like if it's a lamp it's an anime girl that, that's also a lamp right but there's also like you know mythical creatures and stuff and all that kind of stuff but the gameplay is incredibly good um i find it very like uh fun and uh, the game is just charming it has an anime really dark anime like uh madoka magica like dude it gets real dark for the first uh, for the first couple seasons when they start doing like the idol stuff not as much, but uh, the first four seasons are really, really good. Anyway, so that, that's We Cross. Uh, I have done like a how to play video on it that has like over 20,000 views. I've done a bunch of other content about We Cross. And when they finally released it in English, I was really, really excited and started covering it more regularly here on Red Zone Rogue. Um, I got to the point where I felt that it really wasn't a great fit on Red Zone Rogue with all of the other content that I was doing. I was doing primarily Flesh and Blood at the time, and I felt like the anime aesthetic was like crazy. It's a crazy, it's like as weeb as you could get. Uh, and I felt it kind of clashed a little bit with uh, with Flesh and Blood. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just make a secondary channel, We Cross Zone, and just put all the We Cross content on that channel. Um, long story short, for a, you know, a few different reasons, I ended up just stopping, you know, stop stopping making I stopped making content on we cross zone uh, the reasons are basically that I didn't have a sponsor for the content um, it was it was kind of like a money pit and um, well I was just covering other games here on red zone rogue and I really just wanted to focus on growing red zone rogue to be the biggest that it could possibly be and this side channel was just kind of like you know taking a lot of time energy and money away from that uh, I didn't quit the game I still really really love the game but I just kind of like chilled on it for about a year actually and recently I noticed that one of the uh, the newer sets set uh, 11 uh, has some of my absolute favorite we cross characters of all time namely Alfu in it and as, and as well as uh, some previous sets had some other favorite characters like Guzuko and I was just like you know what I think now might be a good time to just kind of like get back into we cross and revisit it um, but but to a little bit of a lesser degree and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing We Cross videos once again here on Red Zone Rogue. They're not going to be every week. Um, they might not even be every month, though, probably. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing We Cross videos here on Red Zone Rogue. Uh, the idea is I'm going to do some catch up. Uh, I basically did a huge trade for like basically all the sets that I missed. Sets uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, the Niji Sanji set um and the, the starter decks and i'm going to be doing some catch-up videos here on red zone rogue we're going to be opening products for all of those and then eventually building decks and all all of that good stuff i currently have six we cross decks already built from when i kind of just kind of took a hiatus so i'm really excited to get back into it and build some decks and and, and play and all that kind of good stuff so that's where we cross is going to be for for we cross zone as you would guess since all of the new we cross content is going to be here on red zone rogue then it's going to Basically, that, that, that channel is going to be on, 
you know, a hiatus until further notice. Um, and one of the reasons for it, you know, the, the content coming back here on Red Zone Rogue and not back on the other channel is that I feel that because I'm covering uh, Shadowverse Evolve and Grand Archive as mainline games here on Red Zone Rogue, I feel like the anime aesthetic, you know, kind of kind of fits a lot more. And I've already got a bunch of people who have just left because I covering, I'm covering anime content already. So I was just like, you know what? People are already leaving because of the anime content. Bring on the Wii Cross, you know? So... Yes, if you like Wii Cross, we're going to be doing some more uh, Wii Cross content. Like I said, I still really, really love the game. I think it's incredible. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do today, like I said, we're going to open up some, well, this one box, my very last box of uh, set six. I was going to say seven, but I'm, no, it is seven. Yeah, set, set seven. We're going to open this up. And then in um, a video, you know, soon, we're going to be opening up set eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I'm not going to be buying a ton of product every new set, maybe like a couple boxes here or there. Uh, this is just going to be one of the regular, every now and then games I cover here on Red Zone Rogue. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you all, if you're here because of the Wii Cross content or just the anime content in general. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, it really helps. And, um... The channel's kind of going under an algorithm shift here as I was primarily focusing on Flesh and Blood, still doing Flesh and Blood content, but um, a lot of the games I'm covering these days are more anime focused or anime style focused, and so there's a little bit of an algorithm shift, so the channel's not doing so great algorithm-wise, so I could I would very much appreciate any of the support on, you know, the Wii Cross, the Shadowverse, and the Grand Archive content. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Let's open up that booster box and um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for this. Welcome back, Diva. You know, I just realized that the name of this set makes so much sense. Welcome back, We Cross. I've I've actually missed you. This is, like I said, one of my favorite games and um, one of the very first games we covered here on Red Zone Rogue. Well before um, Flesh and Blood, we did some We Cross. It was around the same time, um, but I've been really into this for quite some time. So yeah, let's open up some Welcome Back Diva. Now, I only have one box of this set left. Uh, I, like I mentioned, I opened up um, a case in my hiatus because I bought a case kind of before I stopped. Um, but for the next few sets, I did a big trade and I got uh, four to six boxes of every set that I'm missing, usually six. Um, so yeah, expect uh, some much bigger openings in the future as we catch up to We Cross. Oh, uh, dude, I'm, I'm so stoked. Here's one of the, I still remember these promos. These are the um, onsen promos. They're in like towels, basically. And um, yeah, we, we Cross is a game that um, I'm going to call it hmm, shameless. <laughs> I'm going to call it shameless in a really, in a really good way. Um, it, it, it is what it is and it doesn't hide it. It doesn't care. And uh, well, here you'll see. Oh, dude, this is, a, this is actually a good one. We got uh, Tama, the uh, Tama. So it actually has like, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's, this is like, like actually like a, like a felt cloth that actually smells. It has like this, uh, you know, sweet onsen scent to it. So we'll put, we'll put our uh, Tama level zero over there and we'll start opening up my very last box of uh, Welcome Back Diva. It's kind of funny because it's my first box on the channel, um, but also my, my very last box. Um, so let's see, we have some commons here on the front. Oh yeah, the art dude is so good. Kyanite, Wisteria, some commons. I think there's some decent stuff from this set. Uh, some of my favorite characters like Nanashi here, which is which is great, big fan of Nanashi. Here's one of our rares, Black Memory, one of the very few Wii Cross cards that isn't an anime girl, though it has one of their legs, <laughs> it's one of their legs here. Um, ooh, here's a foil, um, Coneus, Azure Angel, beautiful. And of course we are rocking the Lucky Yuki playmat because of course we are. Uh, Lucky Yuki, if you didn't know, absolute great friend of mine. Uh, she and I have done some gameplay for We Cross before and we might be doing some gameplay for some other card games as well. Maybe some We Cross again, um, but definitely some other card games too. Ooh, Mel, I'm actually a big fan of Mel as well. Um, we have Honey Trap, Master Trickster as one of our rares. We have a calculation rare and then a foil Shukakabi. <laughs> oh man, that's a foil common. Definitely did not miss, or definitely did miss all of the, the silliness when it comes to comes to We Cross here. 
Oh, beautiful art here. Uh, Thanatos, a doomed angel. I dig it. Uh, we have one of the dual, uh, dual color cards. Uh, Bardish. Yo, she's a, a Bardish. Great weapon in uh, Dark Souls. Uh, picture frame. Like, literally, this is a picture frame waifu. Uh, Maho Maho. Um, Heidi, Memoria. I think this card's pretty good, but I'm, it might have fallen out of fashion already. Uh, we have Adana level zero. Ooh, oh, gorgeous, yo. You know what? <laughs> I was gonna say, hello, nurse. And I'm like, you know, she's not a nurse. She's an explosive gun. Beautiful. Um, yeah, and I'm like, if you're into Wee Cross, if you're, if you're coming over here from Wee Cross Zone, uh, I'm not sure what the, like, best decks are now. I'm really gonna have to do a lot of research. Um, ooh, another honey tra. Uh, we have uh, Aya. Um, ooh, wow. The cards are just so good looking, dude. This one is a rare Ryujo Code Palace. Beautiful. Beautiful foil rare. Um, so yeah, let me know what the like the, the best decks are right now. I think Tama is still pretty good, but uh, it'd, be, it'd be cool to know. Beautiful uh, Lilith there. We have a, a piece. I think it says a coin, not a piece. Uh, that's, it is a coin, not a piece. We'll probably open up a piece as well. Um, we have another Mel, big fan of Mel. We have Colt, um, get some Uma Musume flashbacks. Uh, Sayuragi, I think I got like a really fancy one of her. Ooh, speaking of which, we have a uh, Alos Pyroluke. Um, yeah, awesome. That's a first uh, Super Rare Signy and Pyroluke, one of my favorite characters. It's so cool to see a lot of my favorites returning. Um, you know, favorites from the anime. Well, just from the, from the anime. I was going to say from the manga. I've read a little bit of the manga um, with, like, some rough translations. I think this card's really funny. It's in, and she's, like, she's like in your phone. Like, you can see, like, the little apps right there. Palm Blast! Spencer, code art. Common. We have another Bardish. Nanashi Scattering. We have another Haiti. And then uh, girl from um, <laughs> Girls Frontline. Uh, this is uh, not actually a collab card. I'm just saying that because it is a anime girl with a gun. That that is a that is a, a gotcha game where all the anime girls are guns. <laughs> is the most American uh, anime game. We have Alter Natural Planet. She's super cute. We have another uh, Ryujo. I really dig her like demon. Japanese style. Nanashi again. And ooh, we have a full art Bardiche. Or Bardish. However you want to pronounce that. I always said Bardish. Um, but uh, it could be Bardiche. Well, I mean, it could be a lot of things. There's only one correct answer. Perhaps more. English is a funny language. Um, Baronesses. Baronices. Beautiful. That's actually, like, legitimately gorgeous. Um, no, the picture frame. Hanging up, on, hanging up on your wall. Buggy car. We have a uh, Nightile Jade Wisdom. Super cute. We have another guitar. Ooh, Layla. Nice. This is uh, one of the rare ones. A lot of the uh, returning um, characters as Signy. If the foil versions, uh, the foil versions typically have like a signature on them, which is really cool. So that's that's very nice. We haven't had a lot of SRs yet, though. Um, I did open up a very spicy card from my case. So I will likely not open up uh, another one, but who knows? Who knows? Like I said, this is the last box from the case. Very cute. Si Repuyaki. She is adorable. Uh, eel. Uh, eh, you know. <laughs> Eels up inside you. Uh, digital Aya. We have a Farnax. Also very cute. Ooh. Peace. You peace. Here's our peace card. Uh, instantaneous explosion. Explosion. All right. We're not, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be doing that. Um, except I just did. If you couldn't tell, very happy to be opening Wee Cross once again. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? There's actually a card that I, there's one card that I'm very much looking for. It's actually this one, I think. I think it's the level two Rill. It's either level one or level two Rill. I think it's the level two um, of the LR version. Ooh, here we have Patra Type Dry. Um, I was gonna say she's like snake pilled, but she might be. She says venom here. Very cool. Um, and if you're wondering about getting into Wee Cross, like, oh, is it an expensive game? Um, no, it is not actually. A lot of the staple cards aren't too bad. 
Um, and the one, like the most expensive cards are going to run you like, I don't know, like 20 bucks maybe? I, I kind of did a cursory glance to see if I could just buy uh, play sets of everything. And it's actually not that bad to do that. Uh, we have Gilgamesh. We have another Aya. Uh, we have Serve Color. Get served. And then, ooh, beautiful. Um, the artist here is uh, Nozomen, I think. Um, gorgeous. Pegasus. Yeah, I'm a big, big fan of that artist. Uh, that's one of the artists that I would like to work with someday, actually. If you don't know, I have a lot of like custom Red Zone Rogue playmats with our custom characters. And we're actually doing a new one with Lucky Yuki. It looks incredible. Um, and it's kind of got like this just more general card gaming vibe. I'm calling it um, like Game Master Katsumi or something along the lines. Uh, Karatan Phantom Spirit. Ooh, we have a full art of the... The white green, white green signy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you'd like to see any other types of Wii Cross videos here on Red Zone Rogue, let me know. Um, for now, we're going to be doing a lot, like I said, a lot of catch up videos, opening up all the product that I traded for. It's a lot. Uh, Donna Sun, big fan of Donna. She's great. Uh, recovery. Ooh, another one of the uh, signatures. This is uh, Tawil. I do have a uh, ancient deck with Umar Atawul. It's one of my favorite decks, actually. It might be my favorite deck. It is tricked out as almost max rarity. Um, almost. Not not quite, but it's very nice. I, I like it. Got another Bardish. Uh, Canius, gorgeous artwork. Centurion, also gorgeous artwork. We have an Umar. Level 1 Umar there. Uh, level 1 Rill. And then a piece. <laughs> you piece. This is our second piece. Energy Door. Since I did buy a case of this, I do have all... Like, I have a full place of all the super rares and all the pieces and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I think, if I remember right, it's about, like, five, six boxes is the sweet spot to get almost a play set of everything, including the super rares. You won't get all the cool fancy... Ooh. Speaking of which, we don't get all the cool fancy max rarity stuff. But we definitely have one in this pack. All right, so that's a rare. We have Maho Maho. And let's see. God, I could tell because of the gold. Ooh. Zero here. Oh, it's, is it a Maho Maho? It is. <laughs> it's a level one. All right. So this is, you get one of these per box, generally. Um, and this is an LR. Usually they're like, have these really nice texturing. They look really, really good. Awesome. Not the one we wanted, but that's not one that I already had. So I'll take it. Um, the other one I wanted, like I said, it was, like, it was the Rill. I have a full set of the Donnas and the Ayas, just missing, just missing the Rill. I really like Rill. I've used her in a lot of thumbnails because she just looks really cool. She's, yeah, she's great. Here's Aya level zero. We have Green Luckbar, Type Ein. Uh, ooh, Alfu, yo, let's go! Big fan of Alfu, she's one of my favorite characters. So excited to open up set 11. Out of all the sets that I got, I got way more set 11. I got like about six, like I said, of every set. Um, eight, nine, 10, Niji Sanji. But for set 11 with Alfu in it and uh, Alice Paraluke, I think I got six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got nine. I got nine. Ooh. Hey, Mel. I'm a big fan of Mel too. I've already mentioned it several times. Mel is great. I'll put that in the rares. Um, I like some of her previous versions where she was like... Uh, like a scientist kind of character. I dig the the smarty types. Um, Miko Miko Bashin. We have Masked Legend. Yo, it's me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, Azure Evil. Ooh, very cute. This one also reminds me of Uma Musume. This is Thoroughbred Phantom Beast Deity. Um, yes, I return to you. Uh, return to the Wii Cross content much more cultured in the ways of the weeb. Since I've now been to Japan and have opened up many Uma Musume cards for Shadowverse Evolve. Uh, we have Umar. Uh, Miko Miko. Hey, if you watch my um, uh, vlog. Ooh, Foil Narashi. Let's go. If you watch my uh, vlog to Japan, my second one, I go into a store that has Wii Cross, which is pretty cool. Uh, I spent an entire week in Akihabara. It was an amazing time. Uh, it was to do casting and coverage for Shadowverse um, Worlds. And I can't wait to go back. There's a very good chance I go back someday. Ooh. Yo, this is one of the foil-like tokens. These are cool. I really love these. Um, these are... I'm going to bring some of these to 
some maybe conventions. I might be going to Anima Expo this year and I want to get some artists to doodle on these. Oh, very cool. Um, all right, last pack for our return to We Cross, our welcome, welcome back, Red Zone Rogue. Um, Buggy Car. In natural. Ooh, Centurion. You know, leaving with style. The last pack, we have Nanashi, Nanashi, Nanashi Search, Nightile Jade Wisdom, and then our final You Piece. <laughs> it's another piece card. Uh, we have True Honesty. This is a three piece cards, man. Um, if I didn't already have everything, this would have been a kind of a rough box because I, in general, I think it's better to get uh, SRs over pieces, and they do take they do take each other's spots. Um, but we did get some very very pretty cards. Like we got uh, Pyrrhus here, one of my favorite cards in the set, and then this one too. Well, Pegasus. But uh, yes, thank you so much for watching. Um, once again, I very very much appreciate any of the support for the We Cross and other anime style content. Your support really, really helps push these videos out to the wider YouTube audience and helps grow these games. So thank you so much for all of the support um, and all of the requests for We Cross to return. It is returning. So yeah, I'm excited. This is a lot of fun. Can't wait to get all of my boxes and open up some more We Cross. Like I said, maybe every other week, weekish or so, something like that. But yeah, definitely expect some more We Cross content here on Red Zone Rogue. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.